Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to turn on some easy to use toolbars and different views within Tinderbox, at least the ones that I find incredibly val valuable to help orientate me with the software as I use it. So, when you first launch a Tinderbox file, you essentially see this uh, you see the notes field area, and you see the, the text field area and the title area where a Tinderbox note is displayed. Let's go ahead and create our first note. Here is a first note, all right? And so we've gone and cre created our first note. And you'll see that I have my title here and the text area where I can put descriptive text about my particular note. Uh, but this lesson's about turning on uh, various menus to help you navigate throughout your, through your Tinderbox file. So one of the first ones I like to turn on immediately is my ruler. And so the ruler allows me to justify uh, the orientation of my text, you know, manage spacing and, and create bulleted lists. Uh, the next thing I like to turn on is the Views toolbar. So if I go up to View, I can say Show Toolbars, and then this will allow me to see notes in different views. So let's say I go ahead and add a couple more notes here, Note 1, uh, we'll call this one Note 2, and here we'll go to Note 3. And so you see I have three notes within my map view, and now that I've got my toolbar open here, I can switch between the views. And so you can see I have uh, a outline view as well. If I go ahead and hit the tab key and nest note three into note two, like I've done here, um, you can see now I can have a chart view as well. And in later lessons, we'll go through these different views um, uh, to so you can orientate yourself with those as well. And so if we go back to the map view here, um, you'll see here are my notes. And because I nested note three within note uh, two, you'll, you'll see that container in that way. Um, the, and then finally, the other thing that I like to turn on is under the window menu, the show text pane selector. And so this now allows me to like view the text of a particular note and then also view that note in preview mode as well as HTML mode. And those are things that we'll be able to talk about and share with you in different lessons. And then finally, I encourage you as you start getting familiar with Tinderbox and you have time, go through, go ahead through all of the menus and start playing with it. So for example, under the file menu, you'll find yourself using quite a bit the update actions, the built-in prototypes, templates, and composites, uh, possibly the export of functions. Um, you'll find yourself uh, possibly updating the document settings. Um, you'll also be able to, to manage and monitor different fonts, um, navigate your notes. Uh, this explode function is going to be really useful for you down the road um, to manage different views um, using stamps. Again, something we'll teach you later, uh, as well as different mechanisms for orientating yourself around the windows and turning on other sub functions. Like one I'll just point out right now that I find really useful is the links view. So for example, by turning on this menu here, if I link this, here's a note to note two, I can go like this and you'll see that I can actually see the navigation uh, between those notes. Um, and that's also very valuable. So hopefully this is a quick little lesson to help you get oriented with navigating through your Tinderbox file and understanding key toolbars and menus uh, that we will find very helpful as you're using Tinderbox.